Ba weep, grana weep, ninny bong, and welcome back to my channel. And today we'll be checking in with Pengu Toys, who give us a very bizarre size comparison. Then we also look at some bots that have stepped straight out of the pages of history. We also check in with Doctor Wu with Dead Optimus, and then finally we check in with some original Cybertronian-looking figures from Hasbro. And I think out of all of the ones with the Cybertron designs, this is probably my favorite so far. All this and much, much more coming up in the next few minutes. And now the news. Don't touch that dial. First up then, let's check in with Lek Customs, the best cell shader in the business, who is still continuing to share images of the awesome cell shaded version of the arc that he's done, Inferno, and now adding to this little collection, we can also see a sideswipe, awesome as ever. If you're looking to p -p 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 pick up a Pengu, then they are going to be releasing their Commander very soon. And this is what the box art looks like. Rather nice. I do believe, though, Waifu is sold separately. But if you would like to know exactly how big this p -p -p Prime is from p -p -p pick up a Pengu, then you can see that he is about the size of a two litre bottle of Coke. Whereas other things they released are about the size of a normal can of Coke. I don't know why Coke and bottles of Coke are the scale that they're using. They do ha happily have the measurement underneath as well. But yeah, about the size of a, a two litre bottle of Coke. A little bit bigger. Lights up eyes. Spiffing. Now we move over to something that I am going to absolutely obliterate the pronunciation of. So this is... Tong Xing Fu. I think that's right. Tong Xing Fu Copper. This is their Master Statue Series X Transformers. And what you can look at here is it looks like this is stuff that has come out of the kind of Shogun era, I believe. So it's kind of samurai type inspired stuff. And it's really really cool obviously these are just statues but you can get a bumblebee you can also get a megatron and optimus prime as well and these all look really really cool don't know the price point on these but i like this i don't know what inspired what though because if you remember um iron factory for a while now have been pushing out figures that do look very 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 similar to this i have to say this megatron is absolutely beautiful of course the version that we can see from Iron Factory obviously transforms as well, so for me, it's probably a lot better than picking up these ones, but these are super, super cool. Megatron is definitely one of my favorites, along with this pretty cool looking Grimlock with his poipal hair and that blue cloak kind of flashing in the way like the missile launchers as well that kind of clash between the the old e worldy type stuff and then also with the robot stuff i think looks pretty damn cool and so does prime right here also some artwork that goes along with these as well so we get a prime looking nice looking artwork as well the megatron again is probably one of my favorite artworks out of all of them and then we also get a bumblebee and of course you get a Grimlock. So this is probably what the box art for these is going to look like. I don't know much about this company or anything that they've done previously. But for me, he's a pretty damn cool. And I wish they transformed. Up next, we have some really interesting little blind boxes if you're a Beast Wars fan. So I think these are blind box Q. I think there's going to be six of these so you can get yourself a Rhinox, a Rat Trap, a Cheetor, a Megatron, and a Waspinator, followed by a Black Arachnia as well. I think these are going to be available on TFS Express, and I think they're also available on Action Robo, it looks like, as well. They seem to come with a few little accessories like that ducky and the coin as well, which is pretty cool. But I don't believe any of these transform. But if you're a Beast Wars fan and you fancy picking these up available soon next up we move our attention over to the team over at like toys yes like toys the people who have been bringing us for a while now i don't believe it's released yet but they've been re releasing a very very big metroplex for a while they obviously like big bad boys because they're now gonna be releasing what looks like a big bad unicron they shared an image of this. It looks pretty cool. It's obviously just a CAD drawing. I will keep you updated as we get it. But this could be pretty big. Like Toys released it, uh, looking to release a very, very big Metroplex. So this could also be a fairly large bot. Interesting. 
my favorite Transformers company are getting ready to release a few new bots. So New Age are getting to release a Wheeljack in two different colors at the moment. They're going to be coming very, very soon. And also, I think what must be one of the final variations on Omega Supreme coming very, very soon. Remember, these are all at legend scale and are super cool. But if legend scale isn't quite small enough for you, then what you need is Dr. Wu. Dr. Wu. So Dr. Wu coming at us with another variation on their DW Prime Commander series. This time, they're going to bring in you a dead body. And that dead body is that of Optimus Prime. For me, I always think, yeah, these look good. I never end up buying one because I just think it's quite lazy and boring in all honesty <laughs> so i never end up buying one unless you're going to create a scene that looks a little bit like this i can understand why you'd have one in your collection other than that i never really get it because as i say it does look a little bit boring but does look cool on the scene a little bit of mismatch in here obviously with the legs and with that chest piece with the plastic being a bit different but i guess you expect that kind of from dr Wu because they are kind of at that cheaper price point and the plastic is not always the same as everything else but i think they've done an okay job here in its alt mode it does look fine i'm not a big fan of big pins on the wheel but at such a small scale i guess you just get what you can get it does kind of remind me quite a lot of the old MicroMasters that we used to get as well for kind of the Micro Machines. But I think the one if I was going to get any, I may actually choose to get this one, which is not Dead Optimus Prime. He's just a bit worn out and battered. So this is Prime. If you're taking it from the movie scene, this is the Prime that's battling Megatron just before, as some people feel, Hot Rod it up for everybody however i think that this is a really cool looking version you never don't tend to see a lot of damaged primes like this um in this kind of colorway and i think it's a cooler way of doing it than just the all out gray version this thing looks good in both modes and again comes with a little bit of a roller who looks is it me or is roller a little bit translucent -y there which is also pretty cool the alt mode here looks absolutely fantastic as well. All it needs is just Thrust's face there, right? Just shining back at you. I quite like this. Out of the two, this is definitely my favourite. Let me know your thoughts on this one down in the comments. We are up to issue 7 of the new Transformers. Yes, we are up to issue 7. Can you believe it? And I have not picked up issue number 1. I even looked for this while I was in the States and could not find it anywhere. If anyone knows a good place to find these at the moment, please help me out. And also I saw um, Thu also on X um, or Twitter, as most people call it, also calling out that he'd like to start collecting these and has no idea where to get them from. They are very, very difficult. I've heard good things about it. I would like to start picking it up. Cover for this one looks pretty nice. The MDLX line from 3.0 is coming back again with another figure. And this time they're going to give you Skywarp. So Skywarp here with a lot of different accessories. And I think I've said this before. I really do love the styling that we've seen so far on all of these Seekers. The Starscream was incredible. And this one is no different. Of course, does not transform, but it is super poseable as we can see. And and that vivid purple and deep black that we can see go together so well. I think you had a couple of different heads with this one as well. And a couple of different accessories. So you can kind of pose him and make him look his own. You can also carry those blasters on the arms or in the hands. Which is a pretty cool thing for him to be able to do. And when you put him together with all of his Seeker buddies... You can just imagine how cool these would all look on your shelf. Very, very cool, but only 20 centimeters tall. Now we move from the non-transforming back to the transforming. And something that I'm excited about from not only a figure point of view, but from a game, hopefully when it comes out as well, is the Transformers Reactive line. And we've got some really good shots thanks to I Am On Fire. 
we have some great shots of the new Soundwave from the Reactive line. The only thing I would say about this, certainly in its bot mode, is he has got a little bit of thin chicken legs going on. Um, and he's a very, very top heavy. But I do still think he does look cool, especially from angles like this one where he does look awesome. And you know what? I'm a big, big fan of the alt mode here as well. So I do think that this alt mode is one of the better alt modes that we've seen for Soundwave in a long time. So all in all, I'm very happy with everything I've seen from this line so far. And then it gets me really excited for the game. And this kind of reminds me a little bit of breakdown from transformers prime looks like it's very 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 similar to that oh, that's the first kind of vibe i got and i'm here for it i like it and we do need to find a newer form for soundwave is this it i'm not sure but it's a killer one it's the best one that i've seen in a long long time speaking of killer alt modes this has been shared as concept art for transformers before transformers rise of the beasts when it was a different kind of concept and this would have been the concept for bumblebee which we know kind of carried over but this would have been the concept for prime i am here for this absolute banger someone from a third party company get to making this i know somebody will because this is a killer killer version of prime hasbro i think really really missed it here this would have been amazing Something where Hasbro hasn't really been missing a beat though is the fact that they've been doing all of the original bots that we saw in the first ever episode of Transformers and giving them their Cybertronian variation. So this was shared by Mark Clonus over on Facebook or Instagram, I think this may have been. And this, of course, is going to be Cybertronian Wheeljack, who we see is in his bot mode a little bit kibble intensive and i think bumblebee was as well a little bit kibble intensive but that more than makes up for it when we start to look at this insane looking alt mode this is the alt mode that we wish we could have got when we were kids what i really do love about this alt mode is that the fact that the back will open and not only does the back open it and you can get those energy conductors in but we also know that when they're getting chased by those pesky Decepticons, that Bumblebee has to fit in as well. So if you fold up the wings, then he will fit in all nice and cushy in the back. That is super, super cool. And of course, what else happens when the Seekers are chasing you? It's time to get those shields up, and they've also added that in as a feature as well. This is probably the best one that they've done so far they've got everything that wheeljack did during that opening sequence the three of them together in their bot mode can get in the bin together in their alt mode is something to behold absolutely fantastic hasbro doing some great 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 work here i would like to see something a bit more slicker though so maybe some third parties or follow up in the future but great this is some real fan service here by hasbro well done so that is everything from me on this Transformers Sunday. If you're new around here, please think about giving me a like, a share, and a subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. All right, team, in a bit. Peace. <laughs>